What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie. Today we're going to go over uh, Celine and Decidueye because at the time of recording this video uh, and uploading it, Decidueye hasn't been in the game yet, but it'll be in tomorrow on Thursday when it drops. I uh, was at the 12th, the 13th, the 15th days. What are they even? Okay. So we're going to go over Selene and Decidueye's uh, Sync Grid moveset, best teams to put the, put them on, uh, lucky skill, all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So Decidueye, in the, this game is a grass type, uh, weak to ice, it's a physical striker, and it's got its potential 6-star EX unlocked, so you can make it a 6-star EX, which would be amazing, actually. This would be a really amazing 6-star EX unit. Uh, for that AoE sync move, be fantastic. Uh, definitely knocks, I think it knocks Brandon down, being the premier, like, grass type striker. And we'll check out, check it out right now. We'll check out the stats. So it's got HP of 561, attack of 341, but that's fine because it will, you can raise it up a little bit with the sync grid, but also with the team builds that you can put on it because there's actually some good free-to-play units that you can put on the team with them, and you'll destroy, absolutely destroy. Uh, physical defense of 132, which is really bad, but uh, you can increase that, and there are some units that you can put on a team that will help that out. Uh, special attack doesn't really matter, but <laughs> it's at 331. Uh, special defense is at 144, again, not that great. Uh, speed is also pretty low at 2. 42 and bulk is at 480 even though that really doesn't matter that much anymore all right so the move set we have spirit shackle which applies the restrain effect to the target has an 80 to 90 percent power uh depending on how powered up it is that uh, depends on how many copies of the sync pair you get so the more copies you get the higher its sync level goes the more its uh, power increases accuracy of 100 point uh 100%. Uh, single opponent attack uh, cost is 3 move gauge. Next is X attack, raises your attack. Leaf blade, where critical hits land more easily. Pretty good. Uh, again, 80 to 90 uh, power, depending on how powered up it is. Accuracy of 100. Single opponent attack with 3 gauge uh, cost. And then we have stare him down, which is the trainer move. Sharply raises the user's defense, special defense, and critical hit rate, and it makes the user gradually heal itself. Yeah, that's really good. It's really, really good. Fantastic. Uh, the sync move. Uh, critical hit land more easily for Moonlight Leaf Blade. A uh, power of 200 to 240, depending on how powered up it is. Against a single opponent, but again, if you become 6 star EX, that single opponent target becomes AoE, it'll hit all the opponents. Passive skills, you got Hold Hostage 5, so it powers up moves when the target is restrained. It's very important to remember that because it does help out quite a bit, especially with some of the sync grid builds that we're going to go over. Hold and Hit 5 has a very good chance of charging the user's move gauge by 1 when an attack is successful against a restrained opponent. So remember, you'd have to use that Spirit Shackle first, and then these two passive skills will kick in. Now there's Critical Speed 5, has a very good chance of raising the user's speed when a move is a critical hit. That leans more to the uh, Leaf Blade side of things. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good because of, again, some of the Sync Grid Bells that we're going to go over. It's actually really good. <laughs> Alright, so... Now we'll talk about the lucky skill. What lucky skill should we put on Selene and Decidueye? Critical Strike 2, absolutely the best one to put on uh, Decidueye because it is such a critical uh, strike machine. Like, it just does critical strikes all the time. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely do that. Now, as far as team builds, you could put uh, Torchic on the team, raise your physical attack and critical hit rate. You could put, um, I mean, Samurott, you could put, uh, 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 
uh, Dust Noir on there. Um, any of the sync pairs that really increase physical attack and critical hit rate. Um, even you could put it on a team with uh, Togepi. Uh, and for if you were doing like sync moves all the time, you could do uh, Cygnus Suit Venus, uh, Cygnus Suit Leaf and Venusaur, and uh, Cygnus Suit Alyssa for the Mega Drain and Breathtaking because those both lower your uh, sync move countdown. Uh, Cygnus Suit Leaf, of course, would also be a Grass type, so you'd have that as well. You could even do a double Grass type build, a uh, Grass type Striker build, with both. Uh, Brandon or Brendan and Celine, along with Cygnus Suit Leaf, uh, because Cygnus Suit Leaf can also uh, provide potions and healing. Dawn and Torterra would be another really good grass type team uh, support for Decidueye because of good as new, healing them up, and uh, X defense, increasing that defense up. Uh, so yeah guys, if you have any ideas of other teams that you could put Decidueye on, let me know down in the comment section below. And with all that said, let's hop into the sync grids. So the first one is our 1 out of 5. We actually have 3 energy remaining over after getting everything. Uh, so right out of the gate you have haste, so your speed cannot be lowered. You have steady aim, your critical hit cannot be lowered. And we have X attack, MP refresh 2, uh, so you can just keep increasing your, your attack. So you don't need to put someone like uh, uh, mm, someone like Samurott on your team, who's Samurott and Dust Noir, because they, you know, increasing it increases their attack for the team uh, based on how low their uh, health is. So you could probably take them off and put, you know, Venusaur, uh, uh, Meganium would be another one, really good one. Uh, for increasing critical hit rate, and uh, 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 a Sunny Day team, because Sunny Day actually does increase grass type moves as well, damage that can be done, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, and we also have the Spirit Shackle plus threes, and the Leaf Blade plus threes, along with all the uh, physical attack plus fives right here, and increasing speed, all that sort of fun stuff. Alright, so we'll move on to our first two out of five. Sync grid right here. In this one, we can actually really, really get into uh, some of the real benefits of the sync grid. We have inertia. The higher the user's speed, the more powers of sync moves. Along with steady aim, you also have speedy entry, uh, which raises the user's speed when it enters battle. Uh, haste, we also have stare them down, MP refresh one. So that way you can. Uh, get an MP refresh to increase your defenses, your critical hit rate, and heal yourself some more. And we also get the Leaf Blade Move Gauge Refresh, uh, which, you know, just keep doing Leaf Blades. Against Grass Weak opponents, you'll be doing good. Uh, next up, we have 2 out of 5 build for Spirit Shackle. So we got the Spirit Shackle Move Gauge Refresh, again going for that Inertia and Steady Aim and the Stare em Down MP Refresh. And we just did a full like powering up of Shackle, getting all the Shackle plus threes. Uh, this would be a really good uh, build for ghost type uh, weak opponents. So opponents that are weak to ghost type attacks, this would be really, really good because you also have the two passive skills uh, that help you out when you have a restrained opponent. You're doing attacks against a restrained opponent. Uh, so yeah. Not too bad. You can multi-purpose Decidueye. Uh, next up, we have our first 3 out of 5 build. This is the Leaf Blade build, but Leaf Blade with, like, Sync build. <laughs> because you could do a straight Leaf Blade build, but you want to do the Sync build with it because of the Sync move also having uh, raises the chances of get it landing a critical hit. Uh, so we have Critastrophe 2, uh, which powers up sync moves when they become critical hits. So, again, like, it's pretty, pretty good. Sorry, I had a eyelash that was, ah, bugging me. Okay. Uh, so we've got the two sync uh, move nodes. And over here we have Ramming Speed, 
the more the user speed has been raised, the more it powers up moves. So that powers up Leaf Blade, so you're going to be able to do stronger critical hits. And then of course we have Inertia going into the next Sync, uh, sync Grid, or Sync Node, there. Yeah, so this is actually what I would assume would be the preferred uh, Sync Grid build uh, for Decidueye against Grass-type weak opponents. We'll go over the uh, the Ghost uh, version of this in just a sec. Let me get over to it. Here is the Spirit Shackle Sync Bomb build, <laughs> or Sync Nuke build. We have Hold Hostage 2, which powers up moves when a target is restrained. So that powers up Spirit Shackle. We again go to the uh, Sync node to Inertia, going straight up to the other Sync node to get ramming speed. So that powers up uh, Spirit Shackle again as well. And again, for uh, teammates that can power up speed, I mean, uh, Skyla and Swan is probably one of the best with Take Flight, uh, with the Take Flight MP refresh. Really, really good. Also heals as well with Potion. Uh, one of the good Potion Masters in the game. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is pretty good for Ghost-type Striker. For being a non-Ghost-type in this game. I know in the main series games, it's a uh, dual typing with Ghost and Grass. But, you know, Pokemon Masters doesn't like dual typings for some reason. Alright, and last but not least, we have a full pure uh, Sync Nuke build. And so this one, we have Restraining Sync Up 5. Powers up Sync moves when the target is restrained. Combine that with Inertia. And we also have Restraining Countdown 1, which has a small chance of reducing the Sync move countdown by 1 when an attack move is successful against a restrained opponent. So yeah, guys, that's pretty good, but I think the... Uh, either the Spirit Shackle Sync Nuke build or the Leaf Blade Sync Nuke build are going to be the ones that you're going to prefer to put on Decidueye. Uh, but let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you have not already seen or missed out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters EX content, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.